Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D P O V, man. And I told y'all that this was coming. I told y'all that this was coming. In my video, in my past video, I made a video about how Burger King had a sign up and it says, we are not serving customers without the vaccine shot, without proof of vaccine. So you have to show your vaccine card in order to get service at certain Burger Kings. Now look what's happening. I, I told y'all. I, <laughs> Ooh, this is crazy, bro. Now, this is only happening in Los Angeles right now in L.A., but they are slowly trying to do this everywhere. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, they are literally going to force everybody to get a vaccine just to get food just to get gas just to go to the grocery store and it's already in progress in los angeles let's check this out i, I, I told y'all this was coming i told y'all this was coming i knew it why is it not playing i can't hear him hold on all right hold on i, I knew this was coming bro I right, start over, bro. Why? Why can I not hear you talk? Hold on. I know if I can't hear, y'all can't hear. Other activities. I right, hear you. And go. we also took note today of what we heard from the CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky. What she said about this year's in Los Angeles tonight, imposing strict new mandates requiring proof of full vaccination to go out to eat, to go to the movies, and other activities. And we all in Los Angeles. You need full vaccine card to go out to eat, to go to movies, to go to restaurants. Wow. Also took note today of what we heard from the CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, what she said about this year's flu season, what they're most concerned about, and what about the flu shot after you've had the vaccine? Dr. Jaw is standing by to answer questions <laughs> on that, but first, ABC's Kaylee Hartung I, in LA. I told y'all this was coming. Tonight, the city of Los Angeles passing a sweeping new vaccine mandate. Customers will now need to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test, not only at bars, clubs, and big events, but also at indoor restaurants, gyms, shopping malls, nail salons, movie theaters, and... This is not funny, but it's just funny that I predicted this. I literally predicted this. I knew that they were going to do this. To they're going to force you to get a vaccine just to live life, just to go to the store, just to go to the grocery store, just to get pump nail salons, movie theaters, bars, clubs, restaurants. So 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 this is like <laughs> this is straight up some movie shit right here like like this is straight out of a movie all rights and our freedom is literally being stripped away from us and they are going they are dividing people who okay well if you don't want to get vaccinated you pretty much can't do nothing but we're not going to force you it is your choice it is your freedom it is your right but just know if you don't get it huh? you're not gonna be able to eat any food go to the grocery store go out to eat uh you just basically got to just stay in the house and grow your own f food right wow and venues like the staples center starting november 4th la joining new york to become one of the strictest cities in the nation Hairstylist Fred Hertz knows he may lose customers, but he sees the new rules as a way out of the pandemic. Now the city of LA is saying wow. you must require yeah. proof of vaccination. Yeah. Yeah. And but you'll ask without hesitancy. Yes, I will. I've been wow. hoping kind of for this to happen because it needs this needs to stop. This needs to stop. It's getting out of control. This is but crazy. For weeks, thousands of workers protesting vaccine mandates from employers have been willing to lose their jobs. And tonight, some Americans could face even more this dire is... consequences for not getting the shot. In Colorado, Leilani Lutali this... has stage five kidney disease, but she can't get a transplant as long as she and her donor are unvaccinated. Feels a little bit. 
What? <laughs> Yo, they are literally trying to segregate us. They are literally trying to segregate us. Like, y'all remember the movies? How, like, some of the movies are futuristic where they have you know people living above ground and the and people living underground and the people that live underground are the ones that don't give in to the new system that people are living above ground in order to survive you got to be you know you probably got to have a chip or you probably got to do this you got to do that but if you don't abide by their rules then you're forced to live in the sewer undergrounds like I know y'all seen those type of movies before and that is literally happening right now they are li they are literally segregating us between being vaccinated people and non-vaccinated people this is fucking crazy that like uh, my transplant is being held hostage and there's only one decision that I'm being left with in a letter, UC Health giving Leilani and her donor 30 days to get the shot or be removed from the list. The hospital pointing out that transplant patients are already required to get vaccines. And if what? infected with COVID, they are at particularly high risk of severe illness, hospitalization, and death. Yo. Mortality risk is high as 32%. But Leilani Yo. and her donor don't want the vaccine for religious reasons. I'm not going to change my mind. I want it. I want a choice to be able to make as as being a partner in my own health care. Tonight, the Yo. number of new COVID cases are falling, but already this year, a staggering toll. 353,000 lives lost to COVID in 2021, more than in all of 2020. We're intubating and losing people. That Federal health officials out with a new PSA campaign featuring COVID, COVID survivors making the case for the vaccine. Been in the hospital for 76 days now. They gave me a 5% chance of living. So I highly recommend everybody to get the vaccines and really protect themselves because this is no joke. Another plea from a hospital room tonight. Kaylee back with us what this the evening. Kaylee, hell? President Biden has been promising uh, to ramp up production of rapid test kits for months now. Today, the White House announcing a major new push moving forward. Yo. Yeah, David, this is the White wild. House announcing a $1 billion investment, saying it's now finally in position to quadruple the availability of rapid tests, ramping up production to $200 million per month by December. And officials say a new test that could be on the market, Flowflex, it was just authorized on Monday, will help ease the supply crunch and could be available for less than $10 per test. David. All right, Kaylee Hartum. <laughs> this is actually happening in real time, in real life, in 2021. They are basically stripping your freedom, your rights, and they're forcing you to it's, it's, it's either you with us or you against us at this point so what's going to happen to people that don't want to get vaccinated and this is in LA right this is, a, this is, this is LA LA passes sweeping vaccine mandate slowly I, I, I'm in lost words. This I, I am lost for words. I I am I'm just lost. I'm 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 lost for words. With us from LA tonight, Kaylee. Thank wow. you. As I mentioned here, we're also following what the CDC said today about this year's flu season. What concerns the most? And many of you have asked, will there be any side effects from the flu shot that are different this year if you've had the COVID vaccine? Dr. Ashish Jha, Dean of the Brown University School of Public Man, Health. Man, I don't, I don't trust none of these doctors, none of these nothing, whatever they. I'm just here to say I knew that this was coming. I said it in my previous video when I, I made a video. It's tonight. I made a video um not too long ago talking about this. Yo, yo, yo. And when I made the video about the Burger King, where is it? Uh, yeah, Burger King. This this video right here, what the fuck? Burger King won't serve you food unless you are vaccinated. That was last week. Six six days ago, I was like, yo, watch, watch they watch they do this. 
watch 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 this amplify and 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 they are going to do this to grocery stores getting gas like eventually they are going to try to pass this throughout all 50 states i i'm telling you they are <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm so i can't even finish the words i can't even form a sentence right now because i am in disbelief that they are literally segregating us they're not going to force you to do it but if you don't get it we're not going to be able to go to the grocery store get gas go to the mall go to i mean just to do everyday activities just to do everyday activities they're going to force you to get it like why are they pressuring so hard this shit is this shit is crazy i'm i'm i don't know <laughs> i'm just lost for words like this is actually happening in 2021 like this is happening in real life time we are living in a new age a new era a new day and just thinking about all those movies that we used to watch like i know y'all remember those movies that were futuristic and they had a lot of movies about diseases people wearing masks segregation you know the the government chips you have to take this shot in order to do this and do that and if you're not they throw you in the sewer they throw you underground and you have to live underground like that that is slowly happening right now wow i don't know yeah y'all leave a comment like i i can't even form sentences right now i'm i'm just <laughs> i can't even wow y'all leave a comment down below man if y'all live in la if y'all live in la leave a comment down below if this is actually happening like if you live in la have have y'all actually experienced this where you go into certain you know starbucks or you go into a salon or anywhere it says you must be vaccinated to get served if y'all live in la and y'all experience that please leave a comment down below this shit is wild it's your boy damn d i'm signing out damn